Okay, that ended up being more of a break than I thought it would, seeing as it's now several days later. Uh, terrifyingly, Steam, like, reset my, uh, customized controls for Diablo 3. I, uh, inputted them again, uh, not using a profile, so I'm hoping, uh, as I go forward it won't be too much. I don't want to have to lose any footage over, uh, uh, horrible bindings. Anyway. Let's get back in. I'll probably need a few seconds to recall where I am. You can't see me, but I'm moving the mouse around for no good reason, because it's fun. Okay. Board the ram. How strange. Oh, was this guy? I'll put him in the stash. I'm having enough fun with this. I'm thinking about uh, season four is like weeks away from ending. I'm thinking I might play a seasonal character for fun. All right, what's this? Still can't. I'm saving this guy for for my Templar. Salvage the other silly stuff. So, maybe I will figure out what to do on the other end of this waypoint. Looks like I'm going over here. So, let's see how quickly I can determine whether this thing is, is going to work or not. Let's see. That should be one. It should be two. It's correct so far. Acid, and I'm gonna assume that. Nah, I'll go and use them. I'm just gonna wait. Sure, whatever. Board the ram. Reach the fortress gate. What's up, Tyrael? Oh wow, I got it. This is a really big ram. This is pretty cool. Almost has a God of War feel to it. Tyrion has told me that the winged assassins were once the sages of wisdom. In return for their vow of eternal science, they were free to roam Mount Leo's kings of wisdom in the high heavens. Over the millennia, they learned nearly everything about the past, the present, and even part of the past. Break those hooks! I think this is working correctly. All right, let's go. Gates are broken. Rambunctious. Materials up ahead. Pandemonium Fortress. When I fought Malveil, my sword passed through him like air. He is in a state of death and life, impervious to physical harm. I got acid. Your magic is not in all. To defeat him, you must channel the power of death, as he does. What does that mean? The voices of the spirits below call to me. Could they be the key? The power of the dead. If you could become one with it, you would be as Malveil is, and you could face him. But you must find a way quickly. Every moment, thousands die, and Malveil's power grows beyond anything I have ever seen. So clearly. 
this way, I guess. Okay. That actually makes it simple that this is not a dead end, but a loot corner. Ancestors, I call on you for aid. Malthael is beyond my powers, and I seek your guidance. Though Malthael consumes the spirits of Enguil Ekura, it has not made him invincible. He has opened himself up to you. But how? Are you not master of the unformed land's power? Malthael has grasped something greater than I have. He is death itself. But the spirits will answer your call and aid you if they could be wrested from Malthiel's grasp. Go deep within the fortress and set them free. Okay. We're looking for a zone switch, and we have these new death gate things on the mini map. So let's go find out what one of those is. Paying attention when he was talking. Blah blah blah, I'm gonna win. Got me lore. Before Malthiel turned, his sages of wisdom occasionally reached an exceptional level of knowledge that granted him the title of Exarch. These esteemed followers would guard the chalice of wisdom when Malthiel was away, and they were the last to leave after their master disappeared from the high heavens. These monsters were once the most notorious and reviled criminals in Westmarch, drawn up from the deepest, darkest cells of the city's prisons. Each was worse than the last. Heartless murderers who had butchered Need countless men, women, and children. In death, Malthiel birthed them in forms that matched their twisted, callous souls, creating perfect instruments of soul. The executions have burned them. Full of reflection. I've learned that these things are awesome. I think I may be in the business for a new right click because it's serving the same purpose as my acid thing. At the moment, I only need one acid, sometimes several more if it's an act boss or something. Um, do that. Need more time. Acid there. I want to check my inventory. Good, my inventory button works.
The Anarchs were among Malfail's most trusted advisors, and his fall to darkness affected them deep. Gone were their radiant wings and calm, balanced counsel. Now they possess only malice and cruelty, and the insatiable desire to destroy all things. That guy took three acids. The end, at least. But it availed me nothing. I know that this war can have no victor, only an eternity of revenge, pride, and hatred. Tyrael does not understand. He cannot see beyond the glory of battle. In time, he may, but that day is not yet here. Make him back to that one. Place. Oops. Uh, pandemonium. Yeah, that's where we're going. Looking for the soul prison. Waypoint is good to have. So I'll be going. We get this icon near the red orb. We can damage Matthew. The good thing about Grasp of the Dead is that it doesn't use any mana. It pays for it by having a very slow cooldown. But uh, if I'm somehow out of mana, I can do it without being completely helpless.
Interesting. What happens after Malthael is dead? Sadly, there will always be more evil to fight. I expect to die fighting it. Interesting because uh, it that was clearly Malthael, but it wasn't titled him. And his voice kind of sounds similar to the other angel we were reading about or listening to about. So I wonder if he went under a transformation. Go ahead and explore the big thing. And we got a chest for a little bit of gold. Yep. Just watch them die. Maybe going the wrong direction. But I don't know why I'm clicking a little bit. It's like yellow fire stuff. Not ready yet. An interesting ability. Kind of a charge thing. I brought myself to Sanctuary, where humans dwell, but the souls did not call me from that place. I searched the breath of creation. Always following the sound. Always the sound. And then I understood. Pandemonium. Where the world's tone once rested. It also titled it uh, The Path of Wisdom. Material. Material is the guardian of wisdom. Is he not dying? Alright, the crystal prison. Go to the crystal prison. I don't know if that's like a... a side quest. Grouped differently. Okay, oh, we got a big chest. Cursed chest. Crystal prison. Uh, let's do that. Well, maybe not. I used my cooldown on the fetishes here. Radiant chest. Oh, a square ruby. I can make them, but that's the first one I've picked up. Alright, so still trying to find... Malthael. Oh! That probably means the... Well, it's Diablo, so anything can happen, but it might mean that I'm approaching the final battle. We'll rip these 
Oops, I picked up some normal pants. Only fancy pants for me. Just kind of sit here. This way for the second completeness. Nope. <laughs> Where is this? Chest. We must make haste. If we don't kill Malfield soon, everyone on our world will be dead. Hang out for a second, all right? There's only so much time. That I can slaughter the normal difficulty monsters. And we have a pip on the mini map. Let's go this way. Hopefully they'll, they'll group up or something so I can. No, oh, no. Well, the fish took care of it. All right, and I am a tiny bit away from leveling. Uh, it still says find Mathil. This looks really cool. That orb in the background. The soul stone is a bold sanctuary. The blood of demons will soon be gone from all. I have no idea what to expect. Those things. One new that thing. I was taking damage there. Man, I spent all the first four acts getting that thing. 
Now he's the prime evil. Wonderful. Uh. Alright, I got full life though. Stuff, including legendary sword. I carry more. <laughs> All right. I was wondering if that was gonna happen. What, what's some kind of trash thing I can throw? How about this thing I can't use? We will talk to you in just a second, Tyrael. Overburdened. Oh no. Is the Black Soul Stone. Malthiel destroyed it and consumed Diablo's soul. Then Malthiel's death will have released Diablo. He is free. So there can be a fourth one. I was wondering about that at the end of, uh... End of Vanilla Di Diablo. The language they used made it sound like it was done forever. Gotta be able to have a sequel. The Nephilim had done the impossible. By conquering death, he had redeemed the angels and saved all mankind. In that moment, with victory at hand, I saw the Nephilim in a new light. He is a hero who can defeat the champions of heaven and hell, and a witch doctor who protects the innocent. But within him beats a mortal heart that will one day be tempted to corruption. Uh oh On that day, will he have the strength to resist, or will he be our doom? Well, there's a sequel. I was hinting at it before, but man, we've already got a plot. Alright, congratulations, you've defeated Diablo 3. More challenges and rewards await, await you in adventure mode. I have to admit, I don't remember what adventure mode is. Buttons to press, what do these things do? Look at the bottom left, I don't know what that is. Okay, Reaper of Souls credits, or Diablo 3 credits. I'm just going to start pushing things, what's this? Oh, okay. I'm starting and stopping the credits so that if you want to look closely, <laughs> you can speed them up, too. And then I guess this will slow them down. Well, I guess if uh, you're giving me so many options, i got to say thank you for making this game. Definitely had a lot of fun. Uh, and I want to take this opportunity to talk some more about the Steam Controller. Uh... It worked very well. I don't know if you could say it's perfect versus uh, a mouse. Like, in order for me to hit my one through four buttons, I had to take my thumb off the mouse pad and put it on there. But I did just fine. Oh, uh, and like I said, it was still a lot of fun. And on the Diablo 3 note, I'm thinking of sticking with this, even if I don't necessarily use the footage online. If it turns out to be awesome footage, then maybe. But 
Season 5 is just around the corner. It looks like it's going to start in January and we're in mid-December right now. And I think I may be trying the hardcore thing. The hardcore witch doctor, hopefully uh, I am as blessed then as I was now with all those legendaries, or maybe that's just the way it goes. Anyway, uh, I'm going to keep going forward with this Steam Controller. I wanted to make a prediction... Uh, I should have made this prediction earlier in the uh, spiel here. But uh, I'm going to say that the major consoles have to start reacting to the Steam Controller. Even if they don't design new content around it, and maybe they will anyway. Just like the Wiimote... Uh, people hate the word paradigm shift, or the phrase paradigm shift, but just... Um, just like that, the reaction to it by most of the of the uh, gaming community was to to kind of scramble and make either the Kinect or the PlayStation equivalent with those you know bulb things. Anyway, there will be some kind of reaction to this from uh, the big three, and also keep in mind that there will be gamers starting now that will uh, for example be using this in the same sense that uh, any gamer PC gamer now had to learn to use the mouse to aim so uh, for me and I think a lot of people in the community right now taking a step back and relearning with the Steam controller is uh, tough and maybe not even necessary since the mouse does it so well but when you consider the fact that people are going to be starting at the level play field, uh, you may find that over the course of the next 10 years, this thing really takes off, even if it's only for early adopters now. And by the way, if you want to be an early adopter, I still think you should pull the trigger on this one. Anyway, sum summarize, uh, I had a blast playing Diablo 3. I may be coming back to it for fun. Going to, in the immediate future, I'm going to be moving on with uh, uh, different games, so I can be testing a whole bunch of stuff. Well, whatever. Diablo 3 is awesome. So is the Steam Controller. Uh, hope you will come back for more later.